What's by this Richard Boy and welcome back to a new reaction video and today we are reacting to uh classic Doctor Who the Daleks part six the ordeal. We were reacting to part six and seven. I wanted to see um if I could uh possibly have two parts in one video because I saw someone else do it, so I was wondering maybe I could do it. So we're gonna try out doing part six and part seven in one video. So I don't know how long it'll be. Um I'll have discussions at the end of each of them and um uh yeah so uh we're almost done it and the reason why i want to do maybe two parts in a video is because um i've been getting the i've been getting these to you guys slowly um my uh, my goal is to do a story per month um and as you're watching this i am away i'm on vacation as you're watching this so uh that is also another reason why i wanted to do one video for two parts because when i do two parts i have to edit Two separate videos, upload two separate videos, and then re-edit two separate videos if it gets blocked, and then upload two separate videos all over again. So I th choked on myself. I think it's way easier if I um do one video for two parts. So uh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and watch the ordeal. Um, last episode was the ambush. Actually, are we watching the? No, no, no. no. The last episode was the expedition, um, which which was kind of weird. I think last episode was them talking about what they were going to do instead of actually doing it. But we're going to go ahead and uh, watch part six, the ordeal. Yeah, there's a, there's a uh, lake, a lake creature, sea creature. Yeah, I heard, I heard like he was, it sounded like he was drowning. It took him. What's all those like packs floating? Food? What is it? Ian. So that sea creature must have like that sea creature definitely took him. But how like he was on the land? I guess they didn't want us to see. Fall in. No, someone probably something probably took him. There are four roads that lead up from the main square. Going north, south, east, and west. So yeah, they're trying to take over the Daleks. They've obviously got complete coverage in and around the city. And they don't leave much to chance. We must presume they don't leave anything to chance. They have pictures of the entrance to the city. How can we do anything? And then we must stop the pictures. Remember, the Daleks aren't very mobile. Report on new drop bomb to cover five Looks like the intro. Miles. Time to construct. 23 days. When did we arrange to meet him and the others? Oh, we ought to be going back now. Let's make sure this is impossible first. Go back and try one of the other ways. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's a dead end. You see something? No. Stand still for a minute. There. Can you hear it? The sound of water. I've been hearing it. I thought it was a dripping. I thought you were just in a drippy cave. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, we won't use one of the customs of your planet. What's that? Ladies first. Well, I should hope not. Ah. Uh, Play the robot as I move in, will you? Yes, all right. 30 feet or so. I'm going down. Well, be careful. Coming over into the road around a rock or something, will you? Yes. There we go, see? But that rope is really thin. The friction is going to, like, make it rip. See? Look. Oh! Oh. That was not that far down. Come on, you didn't fall that far. Was he, was he supposed to? Was it supposed to make it look like he fell? What happened? Are you sure you're all right? Yes. What happened to Barbara? She's because fine. Don't worry. Hang on a minute. Concentrate all power of ranger scopes and vibroscopes on all entrances to the city. It's foggy now. It looks as if my plan has worked. We can't keep up this light reflection for long. Never mind. 
gives us a better chance to get into the city unnoticed. You can't be sure of that, Grandfather. Oh, I know it's risky, but, uh, well, we mustn't diddle about here. Now, I want to get to the east side of that antenna. I gotta see where her name is. Uh, Doc, who knows it? May stop being impossible. Just become unbearable. I like this angle. <laughs> very, very, like, comedic. Is it a bit traveling more or less in a straight line? Oh, yes, I think we are. Why is Barbara, like, doing all that? For all the time we'll be trapped in the mountain. I know we will. Please, Ganatus, let me go back. You can't. But you don't really need me. Not really. I could, well, I could go back and signal to the others that we've managed to get as far as we have. They're going to die anyway. We could just go back and tell the others that the Daleks killed them. Uh, what are you talking about? You must go back. I'm not going on. You are, you must. Uh. What the heck? Ah, oh. are they caved in now? Shall I be direct the ranger scopes now? If we track them by their vibrations, we can take them by surprise. The whole city is powered by static electricity. Well, how do you know that? A single wire, you see. Round here, there. See? Oh. And there. Well, that must be the answer. The thing is, how are we going to cut the wire now, I suppose, without getting a terrific shot? Look, we can't wait around here too long, you know. No, just a minute. Now, you go and tell your friends to stop flashing the light on the antennae. Because for all we know, the Daleks might have a beam to throw on them, paralyze them, kill them. But I can't leave you two here. Oh, we shall be all right. Now, go <laughs> and tell them to move their position from time to time. Now, hurry, please. Very well, then, but don't waste time here. I'll come back for you if I yes, can. Yes, 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 yes. We shall be back before then. Now, go. Dear, 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 that young man gets so agitated. <laughs> No point in going that way, it widens out. There's no foothold at all on this side. No thing I never got is if you die back in time. Well, not, not back in time, but if you don't die in your own time period. What happens to you in present day? I guess you just disappear. What's he doing? Oh. I, I I think he made it, unless there's a very a very weird angle of him on. I think that is. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Take up the slack, will you? Right. Okay, I thought he actually did throw the rope, leaving him there. I still don't trust us. I don't know. I still don't don't a hundred percent trust these people. You know, the other guy wanted to leave, saying he saying that they're dead. Rope coming over. Well, oh. I guess it's tied to his waist. Oh, they're stuck. You have destroyed our videoscope and one of our lips. Why are you doing this? That's sheer murder. No extermination. But you must extermination. Please, you must. Without radiation, the Dalek race is ended. Oh, I thought I, would, I wouldn't make it. <sighs> you did well. Ian? Oh, no, not that way. Yeah. Now, stay still. Give me your other hand. You've got to come back. Now, swing. I can't reach. Higher. Go on. Nothing uh, better happen to Barbara. Yes. Now. Coming now. Good. Now, tie it round yourself. Now give yourself a good long run. How? And jump. You see how tight the thing is? Oh, okay. Oh! Okay, Ian's fine. Ian's fine. Oh, wait. Doesn't, doesn't look that far down. Maybe you can't hold on. Your, your waist is holding on. What's Ian doing? Look how he's clenching. Look how he's... Ian! Oh, Ian! Next episode is the rescue. Ian better be okay. I don't care what happened to that foul... The foul people. I don't care what happened to that guy. I need to know what happened to Ian. Oh... All right, I was zoning out for a little bit. Uh, I ran the end because the end was was really slow. Um, 
I was thinking about this weird time travel thing. So, um, it was an episode of Legends of Tomorrow. They didn't really delve into this, but it'd be kind of cool if Doctor Who does this. Like, it's called the Grand... I think it's called the Grandfather Effect. Basically, you... Let's say you, uh... There's a bunch of instances. Let's just say you go back in time. You meet your dad. You don't like your dad. You want to kill him. You shoot him. But suddenly... Kind of... You shoot him, but nothing happens because... Um... Okay, well, let me just give you guys an example of what happened in Legends of Tomorrow. So, a character called John Constantine went to kick his dad in the, you know, his, his you know, his area. But then he suddenly got transported back and fell on the floor. Because uh, if he were to kick his dad there, his dad would not be able to make him. So, in resulting that, John wouldn't be able to kick his dad because John wouldn't be alive. It's really confusing. It's like, you kill your grandpa, but you kill your grandpa before he makes your dad. Who killed your grandpa? So that means he's still alive. Because you wouldn't be alive to kill your grandpa. It's like a paradox. Anyway, this is this is something something here reminded me of that. I don't know why I thought about that, but something in this show reminded me of that. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and watch the next episode. This episode is really good. Um... Better than last episode, but I think part three is still my favorite so far. I don't know why I always do that. I always just say what my favorite episode is. Just I remember someone in my comments was like, <laughs> someone in my comments said there's not a best. They said like there's not really a uh, best anything in Doug Two because it's all up to people's opinions, which is which is true. But I mean, everyone's opinions could be the same about what's the worst episode of Doctor Who. Um, for me, that is Love and Monsters. Some people in my comments still say that's the best episode ever. I did like Fear Her. Some people didn't like Fear Her either, but I did actually like Fear Her. That was the first ever episode I watched before watching Doctor Who. Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and react to the second or the last episode. It's a I'm watching this on Daily Motion, which I don't even know what this website is. But um, it's a very weird title. It's called Doctor Who 1963 1 Sezen. I think they're Turkish, maybe. Anyway, it's called The Rescue.